evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. 15 rounds in the welterweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Leonard's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. He's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Come on, I want Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Two snapping jabs by Sugar Ray Leonard. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're going to see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Well, you're going to see what you always see to a certain extent, blinding ability, just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed, you know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top, but he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. Parries that punch intended for the head. Sugar Ray Leonard's edge is speed. He can get in and out. He can get you offensively. He can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires, and you got to take some air out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than go downstairs. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Sugar Ray Leonard. And now looking to hang on. Halfway through round number one. Not much action as he just ties up. Leonard's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Hits him in the mug with the right. Finish! Keep working the body! Good block. Sugar Ray Leonard's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. How about that left hand? Able to land the hook to the head. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start stay with. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. 
Come on. Bring it. Take a deep breath. Great job, Doctor. You're doing well. Here you go. Shorten your punches up. We came here to work. You got that? Let's go to work, baby. Come on. Keep your hands up, all right? Keep your guard up. You have to keep your hands up. You don't need that. Throw that away. Here we go. Round two is underway. Little head hunting with the left. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with his counter punching. Right, let's do it. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that He's offensive high. assault. High, Come on, back to the body. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Badly there. He may hit the floor. And bang, and away he goes. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. A well-placed left hand up top. Leonard swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Right to the belt line. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Leonard. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Gets rid of that body shot.
Able to show you his blocking ability. Well off the mark by Sugar Ray Leonard. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. Did you see that? Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Leonard's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Sugar Ray Leonard with a fine-looking hook. Move your head! After getting tagged like that. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep working the body. Sugar Ray Leonard's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Good flush shot upstairs. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Last 10 seconds of round number three. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And that's the end of round three. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Listen, now you're letting him work. You're letting him control this fight. You got to impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger, and you punch harder than this guy. Leonard's putting on a show for the fans in this fight so far, but it's not the kind of show that his corner wants to see. Yes, he's up two rounds to one according to your scorecard as we start round number four, but considering the fact that they've already traded knockdowns, anything can happen from here on out. Yeah, but if I'm in the corner, I'm taking a negative, a positive negative, I'm turning it into a positive. I'm gonna tell him, hey, look, you've been down now, don't let it happen again. You know what his strengths are, don't play into them. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. You gotta protect yourself. Unable to make an impact there by Sugar Ray Leonard. Targeting that overhand left. Use the ring. Use the ring. Left and right. Left and right. Come on. 
a lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. No, not at all. And why? Why is he not being effective? Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Look at the way he has to throw them instead of just throwing them. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Sugar Ray blocks that punch. Leonard's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. How about a return to sender with the left hand? able to land the headshot. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. five has arrived. Sugar Ray Leonard's crushed by a big left hand. A nice block by Sugar Ray Leonard. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, and a cut has opened up above his eye. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Finish with the Halfway through this round. Not an accurate hook at all. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good defense is covering up down low. Good flush, straight left hand. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense.
not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him this round. We got it. All right, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Oh, we need more great job that round. You're doing well. You don't need that. I'll no. throw that away. Okay. Now we work. Good job. Now we at work, baby. We need to start throwing punches in bunches. Punches in bunches, okay? Let's go to work now. Let's show them what we got. Listen, I need to see. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. You got Staying this. away from those headshots with his defense up top. Really frustrating his opponent now. Leonard's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. after catching one by Sugar Ray Leonard. Come on, get focus. Halfway through round six. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Just go for the head. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Keep moving, 
keep moving. Come on now. Very nice defensive guard there. There you go. Keep doing what you're doing. Left and right. Left and right. Come on, baby. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus more. Missed the target with that hook. Sugar Ray Leonard's defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. Holding. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <laughs> You said he was waiting for that. What? Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit. Trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit. Disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Sugar Ray Leonard's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head what movement. What are you doing? Wait. What the hell are you waiting on this guy for? Okay, listen. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Just throw him off with some head movement. Side to side. Bob and Weave. Let me see it. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here, and you can see that, yes, he's up, but if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen here. So his opponent is a real tough guy, doesn't get discouraged, continues to come with a fast pace, and a guy like that, you never, never count out. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Sugar Ray Leonard. Holds on there. Able to dismiss it. Leonard's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. Back to the body. A 
Unable to score with the hook. Seconds remaining in this round. End of the round here. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. And Teddy, I think a, a completely different look than what we saw before because he's losing this fight on the scorecards, but he did win that last round. He did it to start. You know, you have to start somewhere to build. Now he has to start putting them together. But the attitude has to be the same. You can't start looking down the road in boxing and saying anything in life, actually, and start saying, gee, you know, I got to get six rounds. I got to get four rounds. No, get one at a time. That's the only way you can do it. That's how he's trying to do it. Keep on. No need to get excited. You're doing fine. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round. And you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking. And that's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down. And to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Use the ring. Use the ring. It's working the box. Great movement to get away from those punches. Good block. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. the headshot. Now hugging on the inside. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Sugar Ray Leonard. Now he ties up there. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Nice block by Sugar Ray Leonard. A headshot block. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Back to the body. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests. 
where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. I need combinations together, you understand? It's not like this guy's doing a whole lot. You just got to work. We'll see what he brings in this round, but he looks like he's ready for action. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches, but the more important half of the equation. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Keep doing what you're doing. Leonard's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Holding on. Keep working the body. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Block! Block! Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you have control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Back to the body. Nothing there on the punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. And round 10 comes to an end. You hear me? You have to. You have to be busy out there. This guy's beating you. Now, if you throw three or four punches in a row, you can turn this thing around. But you have to. This is it. Keep on. Okay. Keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, have you ever watched some of those? Letters bang by a left hand. Hold on to him. <gasps> Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Oh, yeah, because he's on instinct now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Watch, 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 watch. 
blocks that punch. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Sugar Ray Leonard's clamped down by a left hand. Well, where was this earlier? Wow! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Ray does not look good. He's getting up to beat the count. But he looks like he's in a bad place right now. But with his experience, he knows he can't use his legs. He knows they're gone. So what I expect for him to do is just look to grab, not try to move. If he moves, he's going to falter. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Hit the body! and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the take. Yeah, whoever finishes up strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot right, now, where go. the separation let's was, go. Go. and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's score. very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Leonard showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Blocks that belt line well. Work the body. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. He just missed that shot up top. Leonard's sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. Tried the hook, didn't get it. It worked in the body. Well, that his intention and that's what he's doing not engaging in the fight but clinching 
keep working the champ. Leonard's Good. making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. work from both men they each got a shot in he tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect i can imagine throughout your career you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement yeah it's very very frustrating because you start to wonder does he want to win the fight that's what you start to wonder well this round comes to an end joe and teddy with your ring set uh, this is one of those fights Teddy. it just feels like to me where it's gonna be tough to really score i mean it's been a close fight yeah it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier a little heavier with those blows so it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges what they prefer finish off with the hook okay one one two don't doubt yourself still win this one Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Sugar Ray Leonard's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. That was a fine block by Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Double up your punch. Punch, punch. <laughs> Leonard's well off the mark that time. by Sugar Ray Leonard. Finish with the hook. There you go. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Yeah. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Double jab, such a use. Oh, he is stunned. He could go solid. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? fight Leonard's hand to be raised in victory he scores the knockout here tonight
woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was assured of heading to the judges' scorecards. It ends by knockout. That's why as a trainer, you like a fight that's close, that's closely contested. There's a little danger going on because then you know that your guy's going to stay alert. Here, there was no danger. He fell asleep, and now he is asleep. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.